Right next to me, Paul. Everybody ready? Yep. <clears throat> How's that doing? Good morning, everybody. I'm here today with my Deputy Chief of Operations, Deputy Chief Paul Noel, my Commander of the 1st District, Hans Gantier, and my Commander of the 2nd District, Sean Ferguson. So we're here today to talk about the hard work, the dedication, and the sure will of the men and women of the New Orleans Police Department. We're announcing the successful conclusion of one of our investigations into a series of armed robberies in the 1st District, which occurred last week and the identification and arrest of several individuals involved in a string of armed robberies in the second district last week. So with regards to the second district, we have linked four individuals to at least five armed robberies carried out between Thursday, June 1st and Sunday, June 4th. The second district detectives along with our Tiger team have identified and arrested four individuals, two of them juveniles, who we believe are responsible for at least five armed robberies over the weekend, including four carjackings, including four carjackings. So we've recovered three vehicles, stolen vehicles, in connection with these attacks. We also executed two search warrants at residences and recovered three firearms and one BB gun connected to these armed robberies. A Firestar 40 caliber handgun, a Rome revolver, one Beretta 22 caliber handgun, and one black plastic BB gun. The two adults arrested were Rennell Fields, charged with five counts of armed robbery, and his brother Roland Fields, charged with one count of possession of stolen property and an additional outstanding warrant. The two juveniles arrested each faced multiple counts of armed robbery, four counts of robbery for one and five counts for the other. With these arrests, our officers put a stop to a string of carjackings within days of this violent crime spree beginning. We took swift, decisive, and aggressive action to take these perpetrators off of the streets of New Orleans. Two additional subjects are wanted in connection with these robberies but have not yet been identified, so we're releasing their photos, and we ask that if anyone has any information regarding any of these robberies or these perpetrators, the police step forward, contact Crime Stoppers, crime, contact our detectives in that district or in the Tiger team with that information. Now, with regards to the first district, We've made an additional four arrests for a string of armed robberies, three armed robberies to be specific, that were committed last week. Additionally, the first district also made a fifth arrest of yet another juvenile who is responsible for another armed robbery but not connected with the three previous armed robberies. In total, the first district made five arrests for robberies that occurred in the previous week. All five suspects are juveniles, so of course we're not releasing their names or their photographs. Certainly, we saw an uptick in crime, spe specifically in armed robbery and carjackings, but I couldn't be more proud of the men and women of the New Orleans Police Department, the 1st District, the 2nd District, the 6th District, and of course our new Tiger Unit, who worked around the clock to identify these perpetrators, to solve these robberies, and then to arrest these violent criminals and to take them off of the streets. We told you we would catch you, and now we've delivered on our promise. This is not the end. We are just beginning. And let me just tell you, we are not playing with you. We're coming after the rest of you, and we're not going to stop until all of you are caught and you pay for the crimes you committed against our citizens. So lastly, I want to appeal to the citizens of New Orleans that if they know anything about any of these robberies or any other crimes, please call us. Please call Crime Stoppers. You can do it anonymously, and we need that information. So please call our detectives so we can continue to identify and arrest these people who are committing these crimes and hold them accountable for the terror that they're committing on our citizens. So thank you. At this time, we'll take any questions. Good. Chief, so in the second district, you said that a total of four individuals were arrested, correct? And that's for a total of five armed robberies that they're all connected to, and two of them were juveniles. That is correct. That's correct. That's correct. I'm just trying to get clarification. And then in the first district, there were a total of five arrests, but four of those arrests were for three armed robberies. Correct. And there was a fifth with another armed robbery, but not connected to the original three. And that was a juvenile? Correct. Can you talk about juveniles being involved in this violent activity? Um, and then uh, just how many, I mean, because in both, in both districts, juveniles involved, and the two that were arrested, uh, adults that were arrested in the second district, it didn't seem like they were, I, I didn't hear you say that they were actually booked with armed robbery. Were they, they actually committed the armed robberies with the juveniles, or? 
how are the juveniles involved in the armed robbery? Well, let's, let's just say that they are uh, principals in the armed robbery. And so, yes, they were booked with multiple counts of armed robbery as juveniles. Um, and to, to answer that question, very good question, we're seeing an uptake in violent crimes, specifically with juveniles. So it's not just the fact that they're out of school, but it's the fact that they've become extremely brazen. What we know is that uh, there are a number of juveniles who have committed these violent acts before and are, and are out in, in position to commit them again. And so when we look at some of these, yes, yeah, some of them have committed some of these violent acts before. And so they've become emboldened and embrazen and are committing these acts, but we're not playing with them. They're violent crimes. This is, this is grown man behavior, so we're going to come after them for the violent criminals they are, and we're going to make sure that we protect the citizens of New Orleans. Some, some numbers show 31 armed robberies in the last six days and about 70 in the last 22. Uh, how do those compare year to date? Do those numbers jump off the page to you? Because a lot of people, when they see that, say, wow, that's, that seems pretty high. Well, it is pretty high. And what I will say is um, when you see a string of armed robberies that happen, what we, what we want to make sure our citizens know is that it is not a, a large number of criminals that are out there committing them. What we found is that it's a small group committing multiple armed robberies. And so while, while that doesn't make us feel totally great, it, it, it does let us know that it is not the large, large group that sometimes it feels like it is. And so we went after them. Our detectives worked around the clock to identify these individuals. We did whatever it took to capture them. There are more out there, and we're coming for them as well. Are the juveniles involved in the Rennell Fields case also related to him? That's, that's an information that we may not know at this time. Uh, what we can say is that we know that they were involved in the armed robberies, and so they're being charged as such. And I know Rennell Fields was one of the um, crimes that he's been linked to was the carjacking of uh, Casey O'Rourke, the musician. Um, was his car is one of the ones that was recovered? Well, that's ongoing investigation. I don't have the exact information about the vehicle itself, other than we know that several cars uh, were used that were confiscated in this some of, some of the armed robberies. Any other questions? So many juveniles being involved in these crimes, did they happen at times where the curfew should have been in place? Some of them. Some of them happened after, after hours where there would have been a curfew. Uh, that had they abided by the curfew, perhaps they would not have been out. Um, but the more important point is that they are extremely brazen, they are emboldened, and they committed very, very violent uh, crimes that really shock the conscience of our citizens. And so we want to meet that aggression with the same level of aggression. We're coming after them, and we're not going to stop until we catch all of them and hold them accountable for this very violent criminal behavior that they committed. What do you think could happen or, or needs to happen in order for the curfew to be enforced more? How can we all play a role? We can all play a role. If you see, if you see um, behavior in your neighborhoods that is inconsistent with people just um, being peaceable citizens, please call us. If it is after hours and children who, not, who should not be on the street are just walking around, uh, perhaps being mischievous, please call us. Everybody is not doing something wrong, of course. We know that. Uh, but what we want to do is make sure we enforce the curfew violations. We want to make sure that we're creating a culture where children and adults are not making decisions to commit crimes because it, they know that, number one, they're going to get caught, and they will, and they're going to pay for the crimes that they committed. So we want to create that environment. We want to create that culture. But we want parents to take the responsibility to make sure that they know where their children are and their children are home when they're supposed to be home. Is it frustrating at all? I know that so many officers have families. They have young children. Is it frustrating at all to not only have so much crime, but to have so many of the crimes committed by juveniles? So we, we do our job. We do, no matter what our officers are going to do our job, that's why I'm so proud of them. And so however we feel, Certainly, we, we, we see what's going on, and certainly it affects us. But we're going to do our job, and we're not going to be deterred. We're not going to be dismayed. As a matter of fact, it's going to give us more energy and more enthusiasm to go out there to do what it takes to make our city safe, to make our citizens safe, and to make them feel safe. One more. Coincidentally, there is a bill at the legislature today dealing with juvenile life and some juvenile justice reforms. When you talk about juveniles doing brazen acts and they have to be treated uh, as adults because these are adult crimes, how do you feel about some of these possible reforms when it comes to sentencing or 
punishing juveniles for committing, as you just said, adult crimes. The only thing I will speak to Travis is that we are going to we're going to do our job. We're going to do our part. And so I won't speak to how I feel about legislation right now. What I will say is that the men and women of this department are going to do what it takes to make sure that we attack violent crime and that we go after people who are committing violent crime. And if they are uh, committing it, we're going to treat them like the criminals they are. Is the Tiger unit the same unit that was created during the restaurant robberies about two years ago? And, it, and how many people are on that? The Tiger unit is made up of both investigative and tactical officers. We won't go into uh, manpower numbers. What we will say, it's made up of a combination of tactical and investigative officers, both dealing with robbery and now dealing with shootings as well. And that's the one that goes back to, I think, 2015? We, we created it last year in 2016, and then we duplicated it again this year to deal with shootings. Is there any right? update on the shootings from Tulane over the weekend? No, there are no updates that we can bring you right now, but we will still appeal to the citizens to bring forward any information that you might have. Please don't think that the information is too small or not important. If you think you know something, you heard something, you saw something, please call us, call Crime Stoppers. You can do it anonymously, and Crime Stoppers is ready to take those tips as we speak. All right. Thanks All right. a lot, everybody. We're good. Thank you.